Dual Review is brought to you by Nexus, digitalcomics.com. Welcome to Dual Review. We have a wonderful week for you, starting off with our comic Earth 2, followed by the video game Minecraft, and then for our focal point, we're going to take a look at the Amazing Spider-Man movie. That's right. Our animation this week is Transformers Prime, and our movie is The Lord of the Flies. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Everybody, welcome to Do a Review. Today is Monday, the 16th of July, and we're going to be taking a look at Earth 2 finally. That's right, and it's the uh, it's one of the second wave of uh, New 52s, uh, and it's written by James Robinson, and the artists are <sighs> Scott. The last names are Scott, so it's Nicola and Trevor Scott. That's yeah. what it was. Um, and it's actually a very interesting story. Um, you start off with the first issue, and in the first issue, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman die tragically oh my yeah yeah he really likes that idea um and they stop the invading force uh that, that's coming from apocalypse um only to yeah the strangely spelled apocalypse. yeah apocalypse a-p-o-k-o-l-i-p-s or something like that. yeah it's kind of silly anyway so now that those forces are done and the heroes are no more um there's a new threat threatening there's a new threat threatening there's a new threat there coming is. <laughs> and uh, and the world needs new heroes, and the first person to realize this, or maybe not the first person, but the first person to address it to the humans is the god Mercury, who, you know, Diana, <laughs> Diana had a lot of dealings with, and he essentially gives up his power to Flash in the second episode, or the second issue, rather. So here we go. I know, you, you have a problem. It goes from, hey, in the same issue, the first issue, yeah. to me, for me. Yeah, but anyway, continue. So here's here's the first one. There's the. I can. Oh, okay. Thank you. Bottom. Thank you. The second one. So uh, what I what I enjoy the is the f- horrible gay flash outfit. You know, it's funny that. And you, then the actual gay Green Lantern. Yeah, I was just gonna say he is actually gay. But again, uh, I think we talked about this before, where I think it's going to be just a throwaway. Oh, he's gay, and that's the end of it. The art is actually really good. I do enjoy the art. Oh, and it should be mentioned. It should also be mentioned that the. Uh, the Supergirl and the Robin, who is Batman's daughter, Rob, so Robin, Robin would be Batman's daughter, um, were teleported in this issue, in the very first issue, to Earth-1, where they have their own comic, uh, World's Finest, so if you're kind of interested in what they're doing on Earth-1, you can check it out. Spoiler. A tragic end! <laughs> A tragic end. Uh, so yeah, what I like is the fact that they call it Earth-2, as opposed to the Justice Society of America, or JSA, um, and the reason I like that... <laughs> you really want them to die. I do. The reason I like that they call it Earth 2 as opposed to something else is because it solidifies that it is a separate place, a separate timeline, a separate dimension. As you opposed know, to Earth 24 whatever. Well, what I'm saying Marvel. is if they if they called it like Justice Society of America, well, maybe Justice Society of America is still in Earth 1. It's just a kind of offshoot of the Justice League. You know, oh, Batman's in the Ju- Justice Society now? Oh, who cares? They, they should just do something as simple. I mean, you know, Marvel needs to do this more than DC. They should just do something as simple as, hey, there's a red square on the cover. That means it's Earth blah blah blah. Well, actually, or... DC did do that for a while. They had a little icon to tell you which Earth you're on. Uh, I think it was like somewhere up here. They should have continued to do that. But... Well, now now with the simple title like Earth 2, you know what's happening. You know where it is. Whereas... Yeah, but what about all the other books that transpire on Earth 2? You know? I think I think the only other characters that transpire on Earth 2 are... Oh, there'll be more. Are there, are uh, the Batgirl, I mean uh, the Supergirl and Robin, and they're on Earth 1 now, so it doesn't really matter. All right, well, is there more story you want to... Talk about well, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, how much do you want to give away in the three issues that I have here? I think everybody knows the controversy around the new, you know, Green Lantern, or not controversy, but just what they're doing with the new Green Lantern. I think everybody already knows that. Okay, all right, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about Green Lantern because I think he's the one that I have the most. I don't know, it's kind of a, a tug and war in my head. You know, do I like it? Don't I like it? I'm not sure. I'm going to be nice this episode and allow you to speak and do all your thing, and then I'll rant. So I'm not going to cut you off. Okay, thank too you. Much. <laughs> thank you. So, uh, Green Lantern. 
he doesn't he, he's not part of the Green Lantern Corps as we as we all know Corps. him to be. The Green Lantern Corps, yeah. I guess. The Green Lantern Corps. Corps. Whatever. <laughs> uh, as we all know, he uh basically what happens is in the midst of a train wreck, who we don't I don't know if it was revealed who who caused it, um where he and his lover, his his you know gay boy toy, yeah exactly, uh, were on. He he is saved by this green flame that proves itself to be the embodiment of the spirit of the earth or something, and that gives him the Green Lantern power. And the fact that he's called Green Lantern has something to do with what the green flame said to him uh, during this transformation. Uh, so it's not even like he could have been. He, I mean, like not. It's not that he was always going to be the Green Lantern. It's just, oh, it happens that the guy said something and that's what he was thinking of when his costume was made around him. Have they hinted that it will lead? I mean, because that's, you know, that could be argued that that's more or less what, whatever his name was, the purple alien did. You know, he, he bestowed the power to a worthy whatever. Right, but that... Do you think that eventually it might lead to? I don't know. I don't think so. Because basically what they're saying, they're, they're kind of following in Animal Man's footprints... Uh, I happen to be a fan of Animal Man and in, in, in the New 52 Animal Man specifically. And what they're doing is they have the red, the green, and the rot. Um, and the red being, you know, hu- you know, I don't want to say humans, but live, you know, flesh and stuff. Whereas the green is the plant life and the rot is obviously the, de- the decay that comes with it. Uh, in this one, he is the green and he's being pursued by the gray. The gray here. S- spoiler just a little bit. Oh yeah, spoiler. That's fine. Go ahead. Uh, as long as we warn people. Spoiler. 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 <laughs> the green being Grundy here, who I think looks pretty awesome, you know? Yeah, I just, I love that. It's one of, you know, the characters I actually like. That's right. always been kind of weird and kind of on the outskirts and whatever. They're the, changing him? Uh, huge liberties. Yeah, he, huge yeah. Liberties. oh yeah, Earth 2 is all about huge liberties now. I mean, you know, uh, the Flash doesn't get his power So I can't the same oh, way. Sorry. Sorry. I was just going to say, I can't really argue about that because I, you know, I kind of said like in Marvel Now that I, I would like to see these characters really different. The only problem is that they're, it's kind of like, oh, we have a different origin story, but they're exact same character. You know what I mean? Yeah, they act yeah. the same and they yeah. speak the same or whatever. But whatever, I, I well, don't know. I, I, go ahead. I was going to say, I think... Let I me think, know when you're finished so I can read. <laughs> I think in this one they're going to be very different. I think in this one they're they're going to have their own unique personalities, although they will, I, I guess, I, I think that the powers kind of also give them personality. So... Once you know the Flash is the Flash, you know in that personality because he's going to be fast, I guess if that makes sense. Uh, let's see what else did I want to talk about. Uh, let's talk about the heroes. So Mister Terrific co- shows up in in the second issue, the one with Flash here. That is a terrific name. I hate that name, Mister Mister Terrific. Uh, and he's not actually from Earth Two. He's from Earth One, and he kind of gets pushed over, and that happens in his own comic from before, that, you know, he just kind of gets sent over. But someone was already waiting for him, someone knew that somehow that he was going to come by, and they've already set up to take him down, and so he's kind of out of the picture at the moment. So Mr. Terrific's in there, then you have the Flash, obviously, Green Lantern. Uh, the Flash actually battles Hawk Girl, but not really battles, more like, uh, does like a little test against him, I guess. Uh, so she's in there, but she seems kind of interesting, kind of throw away at the same time. Uh, and then at the next issue after number three, so number four would be the Atom. And then the only person who wasn't presented yet would be Hourglass, who was in the original Justice Society of America, you know, alongside uh, Superman, Batman. Is Hourglass a hot chick? I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, so we don't know if he's going to come by or she's going to come by. I don't really remember who the hell Hourglass was because I never really followed Justice Society. But I am curious to see where this goes. Now you can go. Okay. Uh, Earth two, I was I was actually really excited about this one because obviously Superman and Wonder Woman die, and beyond the fact that I hate Superman and Wonder Woman, like I really I think they're stupid characters. I know you guys love Superman, and especially uh, I just I the way they're dressed and uh, so much magic for Wonder Woman, and you know I just don't like magic that much, and it's all over the you know gods and all that stuff. She is a you know half she's like Hercules and woman anyway whatever. And then Superman just can't be beaten, so it's like Thor. It's like, who gives a crap if he can't be beaten? Right. But obviously, you know, then I see when there are chinks in his armor, like Doomsday and, you know, stuff like that. I actually enjoy that. So beyond that, beyond that fact, it's very compelling that the three greatest heroes on the planet, you know, are wiped out to, you know, they sacrifice themselves to stop this invasion. But who's to say that the invasion is not going to come back? Or, you know, so they leave this huge void, and that's very compelling. It's like, 
okay, well, you know, the S hit the F and they really had to do something. They sacrificed themselves. But now what? Because we're still vulnerable. It's not like we're safe forever now. Right. Uh, so that that is interesting. And this first issue, for a while, it was great. And then the God Mercury and that whole Flash. I mean, even the even the God like, oh, he's killing all the gods. You know, that, that can be kind of compelling. But then all of a sudden it's like, oh, but, you know, Mercury survived. And, you know, issue two, he came back and he gave this stupid moron some power. Like, I don't know. I guess he's like the reluctant leader who's like, oh, I'm nothing special. Yes, you are. You know, kind of thing. Yeah, so it's almost he takes the Green Lantern fate. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know if, if they're going to make the Flash the leader. I think Mr. Terrific is supposed to take over the leadership role. Okay. And I think that's what's supposed to happen. What I wanted to show off is just some of the artwork because it is... I, I enjoy the artwork. I don't know about you. Hey. And what? It's stupid. It's, I, I don't it, know. It's magic. I don't... Like, I don't care for magic, especially when it's gods. It's I'm, so I'm talking stupid. about artwork here, not, not... Yeah, but that's the artwork. You know what? Like glowy things and like, you know... I think that's awesome. I think fire is cool. Uh, I don't care. You know what I thought was going to happen that didn't, and I, was, and I kind of really was hoping, is in the middle of the uh, the burn, you know, the, the, the train wreck, um, the Green Lantern was burned. Let me see if I can find that. Come on. Well, while you're looking. Here we go. So So he's like really burnt to a crisp. I thought they were going to keep him like that. That would have been more compelling, you know, <laughs> just the burnt face yeah, and the burnt Yeah, but he's arm. like, the, now he's the, you know, the homosexual poster boy, so of course they're not going to make him disfigured. Anyway, um, so he's saying that the art is good. Yeah, it's okay, but then they, you I mean, know, they make... fire. It's freaking, but it's Flash's helmet. Look at Flash's stupid helmet. You're right, you're it's right. So I, think, I think the Flash's design is kind of silly, but... I, I At the same time, I kind of like it. It kind of it kind of reminds me of Ant Man, and I like it. So we've been saying that you know the new Fifty Two really not that new. That's why I was really excited about this because it is kind of new. I mean, you know, they kill off three of the major heroes. Uh, having said that, though, the first comic I enjoyed. The rest of them, I don't care about. I, I don't. I won't follow it for sure. I mean, I'll probably read if he continues. I'm gonna continue. I'll read some, and then hopefully it'll pick up. Like I'm interested to see what happens to the Solomon Grundy character. Um, See, I don't, again, I, he has to do, you know, he has to do with a lot of magic, and I've always kind of been on the shelf. He's just been so kind of cool, and right. his, you know, demean, dem, demure demeanor, and you know, it's just it, that's cool. But, but again, it, it they call him Grundy, but they don't call him Solomon Grundy, so I don't yeah, know if it's going to yeah. be the same type of deal. Yeah, it so, might be a completely different character named Grundy. I think if there was, I think it's a personal thing for me not liking it, like. I think I would appreciate this much more if it didn't have magic in it. I would be totally on board, probably. But it's like gods and magic, and I really have a problem with that. It just seems so uninteresting to me. It's like, well, how did he get these miraculous powers? Oh, well, it's God. Oh. Mercury. Yeah. That's that's great. You know, and, and the spirit of the earth gave Green Lantern his power. And again, the, I really wish that they... You know, why go through the trouble of burning his face off just to replace it again? To show that he has miraculous healing powers now or something? Yeah, and is that going to play in future uh, 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 issues? I mean, is I mean that's, kind of that's the kind of the no new thing that I'm talking about, you know. Yeah. Like, all superheroes have magical healing abilities, and so excuse me for being, you know. Right, I understand. I, I, you know, if I was just... If I was just a little more skeptical about all this, I probably wouldn't care for the series. But I am interested. I do I, want to see where it goes. See, it's like in I, fact, I love what happened to Superman and Wonder Woman, and I I really like what happened to Batman. Yeah. But then, yeah, they did that tack on the super Supergirl and Bat or and Robin, Robin, you know, his daughter at the at, in this story arc uh, disappear, and then it's like, if you want to know what happens, it doesn't happen here. Blah, blah, blah. See, I want I like want I wanted to bring that up because I am kind of interested in checking out World's Finest. In fact, if we go to the comic shop today, I may pick some up, only because, you know, seeing seeing Supergirl and well, first of all, in Earth One they take on the forms of Power Girl and Huntress. Huntress being Robin, obviously, and Power Girl being Supergirl. Um, but seeing because because one of them wants to stay because uh, Huntress wants to stay because you know her her father's dead. She has no reason to go back to Earth too. Whereas Power Girl's like. We have to go back. This is our home. What's interesting is in Earth One there is a Batman. So the Huntress, the Huntress, and the Batman of that universe. What's going to happen with that dynamic? Because she's going to kind of view him as a father figure, I suppose. Right? That'd be interesting. I don't know. I just don't have a lot of faith in DC, honestly. Still, I, I don't. It has not rejuvenated my love of DC. I still love Batman. He's still, you know, I've always liked him. So it hasn't made me like anything that I haven't already liked. Uh, All-Star Western is kind of verging on I thought it was interesting. It's kind of interesting to see Gotham. I guess 
Gotham has come out more as a character, and I, yeah. I want to know more about Gotham, but I could still care less about Metropolis. I could still care less about Aquaman or whatever. So a cynic like me who's already kind of, like, I don't really like these characters, I have not seen anything that has, has helped me. And it's not a true reboot. I mean, I guess this is the closest, and yet they still rely on the same devices that Matt... And to me, Marvel has been like, science. Yes. And DC has been like, magic. Uh, with the exception of Batman, which is why I like Batman. So I guess I'm just on the science camp. Like, I appreciate some magic everyone wants. I love, you know, like Magic the Gathering and stuff. And I, I, I don't mind that, but they rely on it so heavily. Uh, but it'll be interesting because there's a new Justice League coming out that I was interested in uh, that has to do with Pandora's box. And I don't know why I was... It was a free comic on last the last free comic day. April. And I was kind of totally okay. into it. So we'll see if, if I like that. Okay. But... More, the, more often than not, they just go really heavy-handed into the magic, and then I don't care. Um, I haven't read a Thor book in I don't know how long. You know, I just don't care about, you know. So so if you're like me and that's not really your bag, there's nothing yet that will really But if you're like me, uh, I'm going to keep following it. I'm, I'm going to hope yeah, it gets better. Yeah, but see, that's better. the thing. Is it like, you're like, ah, it's okay so far. I am like, ah, it's okay. <laughs> you're absolutely right. So, anyway. But it is okay. It is pretty. It's good enough for me to follow. Let me say it that way. And I am again. I'm really trying to like DC here. I'm really trying to give them the the uh, the a more a more. So am I. It's just not working on me. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to give them the same the the equal amount of attention. We bought more, way more DC books than the, anything else recently. Recently, yes. And that's actually why probably Marvel's doing the Marvel Now thing. So probably. it's our fault. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, but that might be good. Who knows? We'll see. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, tell us what you think. Check out our wares on spiderwolf.com, uh, and check out our YouTube channel, Dual Review, on YouTube. And all our uh, playlists, yeah. Yeah, all of our great playlists. Uh, today's Monday, so what are we coming out with? Oh, today's the comic day, so it'll be Spotlight. Spotlight this, this uh, week. So go check that out. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Yes! Good job. You got a long way to hold. Yeah, how far ahead are you? Up next, Minecraft for the Xbox 360. The internet is now clamoring for you to wear a belly shirt. <laughs> we want to see Nick with the belly shirt. Clamoring, you say? Clamoring. Clamoring. Yes. Alright, so uh, what they is... They want to see me wear woman's shoes because you told them I did. I told them that you wanted yeah. women's shoes. I don't really swear. I don't remember ever saying that. I like women's shoes. I mean, they're that cool. I need to stop talking. <laughs> they are though. They're like you get all sorts of like strappy things. And... Okay. I like boots when we're... <laughs> on women. Let's find out the date. Boink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do I feel? I'm just treading water here, and that. Not really getting out of it. Oh no, you're not treading water, you're sinking. <laughs> no, I'm not. I like pretty things, damn it. <laughs> On women. <laughs> damn it. I like women. That's better. I like women. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, what? Oh, dates. <laughs> dates. So, Transformers Prime. I feel bad that I say that, not you. You can just squeal with glee. <laughs> Now remember, sparkle. <laughs> you gotta spark. Like that horse in Lucinda Green's equestrian show. Coming up! Oh, that's in next? a couple weeks now. Oh. A couple weeks. Okay, this week on Dual Review, Earth 2, followed by Minecraft, followed by The Amazing Spider-Man, the movie, our thoughts and stuff. Transformers Prime and the Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Dance Flies. Kill the monster! That didn't look like I was killing the monster. No. I, it looked like Yahtzee or shaking. Yahtzee. Let's go with it. <laughs>